I'm Weston Blankenship. I'm a junior at Southside High School, and this is the tiny house. Come on, let me show you around. This is my teacher, Mr. Gordon. He's gonna help me show you all around. This design is a, a design from an old, old, old style of building. Right, this okay. is shingles, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. they used to have cedar shakes on roofs. Right. Same thing, board and back. So, but nobody's gonna to wanna to paint. Nobody wants to do all that. So it's already done for you. It's already done for you. We're gonna take you inside, but we're not gonna use this door. Mr. Gordon, tell them what this door is for. This is going to serve as a utility closet. We're going to have all of our main power comes in right here. It's going to go out where it can go to a temporary service. You're going to have your inline hot water heater right here. And then all this space underneath here is where it can be heated and it's going to be battery storage so we can have solar panels. How many rooms are in this house? Well, there's four just like your house. That's right. We've got the bedroom, the living room, the kitchen, and a bathroom. This will be behind bifold barn style doors. So your head of your bed will be right here. Your entertainment center is right there. So if you want to lay in bed and watch TV in this house, you just open a door. So just like uh, in most people's houses, this shower right here is bigger than a normal camper shower. So you can stand in it and not have to worry about being shoulder to shoulder when you're taking a shower. You got plenty of room to move and wash. And right here is gonna be where our toilet's sitting at. So it'll be kind of pretty much like a little miniature bathroom, just like some people have in their homes. So right here, we have our uh, stackable washer and dryer. That's why these two lines are run right here. And if we step down, we're gonna have our stove and we're gonna have our refrigerator. That's why this line, that cold water line, turned right there is for our refrigerator. All right, the interior finish, when we uh, get done, will be all one by six turning roof. And from the inside, this will look like a log cabin. If you'll look up, you can see the gutters and you don't see any downspouts like you have on your house right now. What's gonna happen on the gutters is we're, we're gonna put flexible pipes on there and the gutters are gonna come out to a holding tank and we're gonna capture rainwater to supply the shower heads, the toilet, any water that can be considered wastewater. If I was been on a textbook, I wouldn't learn half the stuff. That's exactly I've been right. actually putting my hands on it and working and doing it myself. The whole reason that this grant got done and the reason that we're doing this is we can turn this and our work into money for our program, which allows it just to bought it. You can keep rolling and keep rolling and keep rolling and do 50 of these. You can do whatever you want to. And it's a, you know, they talk about work-based learning. This is work-based learning. We couldn't have done this without uh, Mr. Gordon's leadership. A lot of the stuff that we've done out here, you know, we've had to ask him and have him guide us on a lot of it. And we are very thankful for having him as a teacher to be able to help us do stuff like this.